Today in this video, we will have the comparison between Bangladeshi Bayraktar TB2 drone and Indian Heron MK2 drone. These drones play the key roles in both India and Bangladesh military. First, let's get introduced with Bayraktar TB2 and Heron MK2 drones. The Heron MK2 is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, represents an enhanced version of the Heron unmanned aerial vehicle. This model is employed by the Israeli Air Force and is operational with over 20 other entities globally. India purchased four this type of drones and now they are processing to acquire more 91 this type of drones. These unmanned aerial vehicles will be made in India wholly or partly under the Indian government, as well as it's being considered to provide 27 drones for Army, 42 for Air Force, and 22 for Navy. India uses Heron Mark II drones for surveillance missions along its borders with China and Pakistan. These drones are operated by Indian Air Force. On the other hand, the Bayraktar TB2 is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It is manufactured by the Turkish company Baikar Makina Sanayi Vetijarit. Bangladesh acquired 12 Bayraktar TB2 drones from Turkey with six currently operational. Bangladesh has deployed Bayraktar TB2 drones near its border with India, which is the biggest concern for India. The drones are reportedly used for defensive purposes. The Bayraktar TB2 can be used for several missions, including intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, armed attack mission, and target acquisition. Let's compare them side by side. The Indian Heron MK2 drone has a wingspan of 54 feet, six inches in length, is 28 feet. On the other hand, the Bayraktar TB2 has a wingspan of 39 feet 4 inches and length of 21 feet 4 inches. The Heron MK2 has maximum payload capacity is 490 kilograms and maximum takeoff weight of 1,150 kilograms. The empty weight of the Bayraktar TB2 drone is 500 kilograms. Payload capacity is 150 kilograms and maximum takeoff weight is 700 kilograms. The Indian Heron MK2 drone has a top speed of 207 kilometers per hour, and it is capable of medium altitude long endurance operations of up to 52 hours duration. On the contrary, the top speed of the Bangladeshi Bayraktar TB2 is 222 kilometers per hour, and cruise speed is 130 kilometers per hour. It has a maximum flight duration of 27 hours. The advanced Heron MK2 drone is enabled with maximum combat range of 1,000 kilometers and can reach the maximum altitudes of up to 33,000 feet. The Bayraktar TB2 drone has a communication range of approximately 300 kilometers or 186 miles. It can also reach a maximum altitude of 25,000 feet. The Heron MK2 drone carries a variety of sensors, including synthetic aperture radar, which targets images in all weather conditions day or night, electro-optical or infrared camera that identifies and tracks targets, laser designator, which designates targets for precision strikes, thermographic camera, it's an airborne ground surveillance sensor, intelligence systems, sensors for electronic support measures, electronic intelligence and version type of radar systems. On the other hand, the Bayraktar TB2 drone has a variety of sensors, including triply redundant avionic system. Each aerial platform has a triply redundant avionic system. The Bayraktar TB2 has a sensor fusion architecture that allows for precise auto takeoff and landing. It has a built-in laser target designator that allows for precise targeting. Let's move on the armaments. Although the Heron MK2 is not used in strike mission, but it can be equipped with air-to-ground missiles, air-to-ground anti-tank weapons, laser-guided missiles, long-range missiles and bombs. On the other hand, the Bayraktar TB2 is equipped with laser-guided smart bombs, long-range anti-tank missile Z, 70mm missile system, laser-guided rocket, and 81mm guided mortars. The TB2 drone can destroy modern tanks with their MAM laser-guided missiles. The Indian Heron MK2 is powered by a Rotax 915 IIS turbocharged, four-stroke, four-cylinder engine. The engine produces 141 horsepower at takeoff and 135 horsepower at continuous operation. 
On the other hand, the, the TB2 is powered by Rotax 912 IS internal combustion engine with 100 horsepower. A particularly notable feature of the Heron MK2 is its standoff capability. This function allows for the gathering of intelligence from 10 kilometers away without the need to cross borders, made possible by its capacity to carry larger and improved sensors. The Heron MK2 UAV is known for their strategic and versatile features have been selected to augment India's aerial surveillance capabilities due to their cutting-edge technology, unmatched endurance, and payload versatility. Bangladesh purchased Bayraktar TB2 drones to modernize its defense capabilities and to enhance its intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. The Bayraktar TB2 has proven effective in modern warfare, particularly in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War and the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more videos and wait for the next video.